the fact that we have fans there, in a way, I think, alleviates a bit of pressure because I'd, you'd have to make a terrible album to alienate all of your previous fans. And, you know, we're not, we're not going to make a terrible record because we won't let anyone hear it if it's terrible. We like to put in, um, you know, as, as many kind of ideas as we can in a song without making it, you know, unlistenable. Um, but yeah, no, that song is not one of those ones that ever felt like the sections should be in something different. There is songs that are like that where you're like, maybe that chorus isn't right for this song. The phrase, I want to know that certainty is in my life, it kind of, it doesn't make sense in many ways because to know is to be certain. It was kind of a play on words. There is a particular, do you know what it's called? It's a paradox, isn't it? You yeah. can't possibly know for certain that there is certainty. We like to blur the lines between you know what is a, a synthesizer and what is a bass similarly what's a synth and what's a guitar but that particular song the intro the bass line was recorded in with the idea of recording a, a fuzz bass but as far as the timbre of the sound that we'd recorded we couldn't really get close to doing that so we thought well why why does it have to be you know we're limiting ourselves we don't need to have actual bass on the intro, you know, and then in the verses it kicks in. It's kind of mirroring what the, some of the characteristics of the synth bass, which is this kind of fuzzy, mm -hmm. kind of warbly overtone. No, just no. using our feet as well as our hands okay. now. There's keyboards at our feet mm. and here and through sort of developing musicianship somewhat, mm. we've managed to more or less have everything covered. We're trying to play it, but we haven't, we haven't rehearsed it to the point where it feels like it's good enough live. And this always happens with us. Like we had it on the first record, we, have, we had songs that took a while to really kind of own them, do you know what I mean? We, 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 don't, we don't record our albums live. We don't sit in a room and play all together at once. So our process is very much, once the record is made, then you're trying to do what, what, it's, what you've done on the record. But that's no good. Like we can play it like the record now, but it's like, it's that other thing where it becomes the live version of the song. And we haven't got it with that. Similarly with Oh The Saviour, we haven't either. From Breaking Glass, David Bowie. Oh, really? yeah. yeah, listen to the low a lot. You know, there's a few homages in that song uh, to other Roman godlike men, you know, of past. Um, yeah, so it's it's intentional. The pressure's just there anyway, you know. Whether you've got a record to make or not, as far as as, as musicians and artists, you put pressure on yourself you know we put pressure on ourselves individually and then we put pressure on each other and um, what generally has came out of that pressure has been good at art as far as something that we're proud of there was times obviously where you were aware that time is ticking as far as the first record being out in 2014 but we weren't sitting around not trying to make a record we were touring the first record still and we were like when are we going to get time to do this you know we made you know, a brand new album that hasn't been made before. So it's no different to the first album pressure, really. <laughs>